All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, don't really know what to uh say. I guess a bit of a, kind of an odd video. Um, again, right as you can tell by the title, and as I mentioned in some previous videos, uh, again, mostly the uh, Infinite Fusion ones, right? Again, you know, along with like, um. Not, not really, I, actually, no, I haven't really talked about this in our videos, but basically, again, I'm trying to get back into watching shows, which I will make black screens on, right? Again, black screen videos, but the big thing being kind of the transition to that is uh, I ultimately made the decision to um, rewatch this show, right? As you can tell by the title, uh, Comey Can't Communicate. Um, I made a black screen video on it probably about a year ago. Um, once I finished um, episode 24, which again came out, actually, no, it was more than a year ago, like a year and maybe a month or two ago. Um, episode 24, which is the last episode of, I guess, season two, technically, um, came out, right? And again, there, there's been no more video um, episodes since, right? I don't know if they're even going to continue on with it. I'm pretty sure the manga is still going um but don't quote me on that uh but again at least for the anime and you know the show right i don't know if they're gonna supposedly it's in development but in the works but you know don't know if that actually means it'll come to fruition but kind of besides the point but again the big thing was i made probably i think one black screen video on it right and then i don't think i touched it again i've referenced it you know multiple times in relation to like other shows that i've watched right and again you know anime right but i haven't made a video on it in and of itself um what would you call it uh or in as for it specifically uh since then right which it's again what i'm doing now right with the whole uh and again what i'm gonna do with the whole rewatching thing granted i'm not gonna do a video after each episode right i'm probably gonna do this video i'll do a video after finishing season one and which is uh episodes one through 12 so once i'm done with 12 i believe i'll uh I'll do that one, and then I'll do one after episode 24, right? Again, in part of this whole rewatching series. So it'll be three total videos. This one, which I just did after the first episode, right? And I'll kind of go over just introductory stuff, you know? I'll go over kind of what I noticed, and then I guess kind of a bit more personal, like in relation to me and like other like things, and I guess also in relation to like more other shows, like specifically Boshi the Rock, right? um as well as other like anime in general and then again the um what would you call it uh the episode 12 one post season one and then post season two right the rewatches will be more so about the actual show itself and content right and what i've saw or like gained differently this time from first time around right because i can say that the big thing i noticed in episode one was that uh you had there are people in the show that like obviously aren't introduced till later on but you'll like see them in the show right like, you'll see him in kind of the background. So it, it's cool to, like, watch him be like, oh, I know this character that gets introduced later on, right? So that, that's kind of a fun thing to, like, go through, right? But again, something to where that's not, I mean, and again, still entertaining, right? But again, something to where it's like, I mean, that's, like, why I rewatched it, right? For good fun entertainment and then it'll give you a good transition to our shows. But also, again, what I kind of want to talk in this video or talk about in this video, right, is, again, you know in relation to our things too, right? Just kind of the uh, flip side of the coin, you know, that I've kind of, you know, talked about in the past, right? Excluding the one black shrimp video I made. So again, with that, we can get into it. So I guess, again, kind of a disclaimer, right? Again, you know, I haven't read the manga. I just know it's still going and again, you know, the, or I believe it's still going. Like, the, like there's a decent amount. Like, you know, I think there, there's way more. It's not like, you know, the anime's caught up. Like, because it's like they're just still on what season three you know um but there's way more content for the manga out there and again i believe it's still in creation but again i i haven't read any of it so i wouldn't know and then along with that i believe so i'm watching the whole thing in english dub because it's now out however i watched the original in dub so the first 12 it's not going to be different um the second 12 i watched in the uh sub but this time i'll watch it in the dub I don't anticipate, you know, that change will make a ton of difference, right? But that'll be something I'll tack or kind of, you know, talk about probably when I make that post season two uh, video, you know, black screen, right? Um, I guess the big thing that I kind of wanted to talk about or go over this time, right, is 
because again the first episode right it really just kind of sets up the show you know it's a foundational you know kind of uh what would you call it um foundational kind of um again it just sets up the rest of the show right you know like the background and like situation right and the big thing is again it, it, it's something to where first i'll talk about it in relation to other shows right you know specifically Bo the rock but then also again in relation to me and kind of real life right i'll get more into that um so again kind of because you watch the first episode and you get the main premise and just the show it's like all right there's this you know girl who's kind of like idolized but has problems you know talking with people right again you know communicating social anxiety and then you have this like again you know <laughs> you know main character right who's gonna try to like help her out right you know the no-name protagonist you know stand in filling for you know the uh, viewer or watcher, right? Um, the old, what would you call it? Um, stand-in protagonist uh, who doesn't, literally his character trait is being average and not having a personality. So that's already kind of an L. Um, but again, you know, besides the point. So you, you get the idea, right? And it's something to where, and why I bring up Ochi the Rock is obviously, you know, it is another show that deals with a very similar topic and or issue again you know just social anxiety but it's more so from the pov of the actual person dealing with it and it's something to where it's like it it more so again it drops the whole like idolization thing drops the whole kind of and then obviously the nature of the old you know stand-in protagonist and then the the female you know lead like stand-in mc protagonist female like lead protagonist right you know kind of this stuff going on between that right so it drops that whole subject and instead you replace it with the whole like band thing where it's like all right you have kasoku band and her like friends made that way right or i guess kind of like kind of forced right you know but just into that like contract with the whole band thing but again kind of her her like bandmates and how like their escapades so and it, it, it's something where because i even talked about this when i watched bochi the rock right and if you're if you're new to my channel, you're probably expecting me to dog on Kobe Can't Communicate, right? And say, like, oh, this show sucks ass. Bochi Rock is a way better representation of you know, social anxiety. But if, again, if let's say you've watched my videos, you know, I'm very much, I don't want to say against what I feel like is the um, just sort of, again, like if you know how critical I am of like indie and also, you know, like video essay commentary type stuff, basically, I'm one thing i'm not a fan of and i almost always go against is like people who take things like too seriously right you know it's something to where they'll they'll take something and then they'll overanalyze it in what i feel is them just trying to like act and portray or be or portray themselves superior to everyone else again right so what what that comes down to again my thing is i wasn't a fan of comparing the two shows because again the the sort of inherent premises you say oh this show is better than the other you're kind of implying that oh it's even though it's better like it's it's better in that it's realistic when in actuality neither of them are really realistic again my biggest critique of the whole like bochi rock thing right is when you deal again because they're dramatis a it's anime it's fiction it's a dramatis what would you call it dramatization or dramatization however you call it of real life and as someone who's kind of dealt with that stuff before, it's much more of a passive, you know, kind of fear, like a gaping, it's really like a gaping hole and pit in your chest when it comes to you knowing you're going to need to do something that involves you kind of coming out of your comfort zone, your bubble, your shell, like you need to like talk to someone, right? You know, you needing to like go and do something like, and it can be like, you know, it's, it, it's like, it, it's smaller things. It's not this big, like, you know, again, uh, but besides the point, because in again, in, in relation to Comey specifically, right, Comey can't communicate, it's something to where you watch the first episode and, again, you, you get the, like, it's something to where you get the idea and feel and, like, and what specifically it's trying to portray and, again, you know, kind of touch on and deal with, right? Now, ignoring what happened, because, again, you know, then you get some, like, again, you get the whole idolization thing, right and you get some whole like time like you get we into like weird like sort of what would you call it you know you get into some like weird stuff later down the timeline with stuff happening like again to donald getting kidnapped like still the most like out-of-pocket thing that happens in the whole show that it just brushes past but again 
you know, that's why, you know, it's anime, it's dramatization, right? You know, again, it's entertainment, enjoyment, right? You know, I don't take it too seriously. But it is something to where I will say, again, you know, if you take it at face value for what it is, it's still, you know, again, really about trying to bring awareness, you know, and kind of talk about these subjects and touch on these subjects, right? And I can say that it's it's a bit odd because i remember it's this is going to be a weird personal story so obviously not to the extent of fucking you know shoto komi or whatever that's that's or shoko yeah I, I remember the name like i had kind of a similar like sort of i guess like sort of like what, what would you call it you know like i went through kind of this is gonna sound crazy but i'll, I'll explain it, i swear i went through kind of a similar thing in like in like early grade school middle school from like it because it was something to where like it, it wasn't until like high school and I got into like athletics right or more so like later in middle school where like I kind of like got brought out of like my shell that way but but it, it's something to where like I kind of had a similar experience where because I was like shy people would like prop me up you know in a sense right they, they would like it, it was almost like it, it's not to that same extent because that's more of like an idolization but it, it, for me it was more of like a support structure i believe and what where i'm going with this right is that you know i don't think it was pity i mean it may have been from you know the other kids right but but it, it, it's something to where it's like you know i, I think it was something to where they they like recognize because like i mean it seems like people have one or two experiences, you know, when they go through education, right, public education. It's either a great experience for them and the art kids are nice or they just get bullied to shit. I definitely had a good experience with, like, other kids, you know. So, again, it, it's something to where I had a decent support structure, again, not to the level of idolization. That's not even a support structure. That's just freaking, like, you know, that's almost a pseudo-meta-commentary to where it's, like, you place people on pedestals, like, above where they actually are and don't treat them as human beings, Again, that's kind of a side commentary. And then, again, as well, you know, you don't get to, like, actually, like, understand them for who they are. You're just, again, you know, you're you're creating a false image in your head, right? Which is kind of the dual aspect of what is, right? You know, that's why no one makes friends with her, you know? Um, the be Shoot, I'm trying to think of this uh, in relation to... I'm pretty sure there's another show that's, like... Or the, there's another, you know, show that kind of touches on the same thing. Oh, whatever, you know, besides the point. Um, but I, I will say, and kind of, again, in relation to me, I, I'm more of, like, an actual support structure, though. But I still had people who would, like, they, they would kind of, like, you know, guide me along, like, kind of try to go at me and get me out. I guess that's more like her actual friends in the show. But, again, besides the point. And kind of where I want to go with this is, because, again, it, it's something about the whole thing about it being, like, because, I mean, obviously it's dramatization, but it's still, again, based on or sort of, it, it still, again, touches and brings attention and light and awareness to real life, you know, topics and real life, you know, sort of um, occurrences, right? And it, it, it's something to where, like, obviously, like, your response is, oh, no, people like this don't exist in real life, right? And I kind of talk about my sort of experience and issues with it. But I will say I did know someone, and this was after I had kind of, because for me, it was like grade school, early middle school to where like I was in that situation. But going into later middle school, right, I knew and for me, I was just dealing with general like social anxiety. Like I was just a shy person. Like my athletics is something that as well as having an actual like support structure of like nice students, you know, and then good like family. Like I was kind of able to get and I mean, I still deal with it today, but like I was able to actually kind of, you know, get out of my shell a little and kind of actually like you know i guess like i don't want to say function but actually become more of like a participating member of that like you know environment right um but i knew someone in later middle school who was literally like i hate not i hate to use the term literally but literally like comito where you know like they just didn't speak like you know obviously minus the whole idolization thing you know, but it was something where they just, li I've, and again, I have no idea where they are nowadays. This was like a decade ago. Like, but they just literally didn't speak. Like me, like we'd sit at the same, he, like we were pretty good friends because I think we had a few classes together. But the, the, the I remember, yeah, we had science class together and then we, English class and we sat together during lunch. Oh, we had PE together too because I remember I was this like, 
because I did my athletics, I was in pretty good shape, but this dude, he was kind of chunky, so he wasn't in shape, but we would still, like, pair up, so it was just, like, complete opposite. So we, we were pretty decent friends, but it, it's something to our English class specifically, because it wasn't just me. It was me, him, and two other people sitting at a table four. Versus the other classes where it was more like, all right, you know, it's kind of just on your own type deal or thing. But again, in um, English class specifically, like it, I remember it was me, him, and the other two people at the table. We would literally have like a word count that he would, we would try to get him to hit for that day. So literally like Comey type level shit. And it, it's something to where, again, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure we might be friends on Facebook, which is crazy to say in this day and age. But that's, again, how far ago or how long ago this was. So I have, like, no clue where this dude is nowadays. I might look, I might literally just go on Facebook and see, like, after this because I'm genuinely curious, like, what, what he's done since. But, again, it, it's because we kind of – we didn't really see each other at all in high school because we went to a much bigger, like, high school and just didn't have class together at all. So it's like – and by that point, I was pretty busy with my athletics – but again, like, it, it's something to where that's why it's like, you know, I, I feel in it again. It's just more so a venting or me ranting type deal. Like when I see, because P, again, it's the old typical like, oh, you know, you take something made for entertainment and, you know, enjoyment and something that, you know, at face value brings, you know, light to and touches upon these subjects. You immediately like take it way too seriously and make it a competition in relation to our stuff and like just to try to come off as like, you know, again, what would you call it? Uh, it's like pseudo intellectual. It's like, all right, dude, like whatever. So like when I, cause I see people specifically, and again, it, it was, it, it's not as bad as it once was, but when Bochi the Rock first came out, it was a pretty big problem where people are like, oh, you know, this is like the greatest like show ever, you know, like, oh, like, you know, it's such like a better portrayal of this than, uh, you know, this other show, right? And I'm like, did you like miss the, po or like people, or they watched it and it's like, oh, it's like literally me, but Oh you know, yeah, it's just something to where that's why it's like I wanted to kind of make this video kind of to retouch on this subject going into this show, like rewatching it, right? Um, again, really the only thing I got from the first episode was the fact that I saw other characters that I had already known later on, right? Just seeing them make a cameo in the early episodes, um, or the first episode, right? Because again, the rest of it's just about setting up the premise for the rest of the series again, you know, not a lot happens. Uh, we just get that that baseline sort of you know foundation and situation and background for what the rest of the show is going to be like so no real events happen yet right but again it, it's something to where as someone who knew someone who was like obviously minus the idolization you know and they weren't fucking female they're male right and this was in middle school but knowing someone who was literally like that who we'd have a word count for him to hit um again me myself having kind of had like been in like Again, it was pretty bad when I was in, like, grade school and early middle school. It was pretty bad. And a lot of it was related to, again, you know, I wasn't special needs, like, by any means. Like, but that sound, that's a crazy sentence. Um, but I did have to go to, like, speech and, like, therapy. Like, and, and I had some weird, like, you know, what would you call it? I had, like, uh, almost like a counselor or, like, what would you call it? Like, in grade school. Basically, I, I was someone who needed more, like, support going through grade school and I think that's what kind of impacted my like so it caused me to be more like it, it was an embarrassing thing right and again you know it's something to where it's like it, it was something that I think that was what led to like me being more like shy reserved and even to this day just being a more introverted person overall but again it was something where like it was pretty bad like in late grade school or in middle school like I really like again I wasn't to the extent of this one the one guy I knew at later middle school who literally just wouldn't speak and we'd have word counts but I was definitely very much, you know, dealing with, like, social anxiety. Like, that was my social anxiety as worse. But, again, I had a good, like, support structure in the form of, like, other students who I think, again, like, genuine friends who, like, like who picked up on that, right? You know, and would, like, kind of prop me up and, you know, would help me out and would, like, kind of, like, defend me in that sense, right? Because we went to a small, you know, grade school is, like, small, you know, and even our middle school was pretty small. It wasn't until high school where we went to a big-ass public high school, but grade school and middle school was like small but it was something to where again I had that support structure so it's like you know I guess not comparing it to the whole idolization thing because that's just that's a false support structure right you know but this is like again genuine like friends who helped me out and I guess th this went way deeper than I wanted it to but again it, it's something to where that's why like you know because even watching Bochy the Rock Bochy the Rock it was something to where it was like again the main thing I talked about was oh like you know 
again, the show is like really good and it does a really good portrayal of like social anxiety. But again, you know, and it's also something where by avoiding that whole idolization as well as, you know, the whole like typical like, oh, you know, Stan and Phil and MC, you know, and then uh, was it shown in like female like lead protagonist, right? You, you avoid the whole like romance like between them. Um, but it is something to wear, you know, so it's good in that sense, but also people completely miss the message and be like, oh, you know, literally me, right? Literally me. And then it's like, oh, you know, this is much better, like, portrayal. It's like, since what was it, a competition? It's like, dude, like, the whole point is that you work on your issues, right? You know, you like, the whole point of the show is that you're working on your, you know, anxiety, right? It's not something to where it's like, oh, literally me, again, wh whatever, you know, this is getting off topic. I, I went over enough. Like, basically... This is saying the conditions for, because the other two, uh, I'm going to do the part two and three, right? Part two will be when I'm finished with the first season, which will probably be in a few days, maybe closer to a week. And part two will be when I'm done with the rest of the thing, which will be again, once through uh, episode 24 of the second season, and it'll be in probably more like closer to two weeks time. Um, again, those I'm going to talk more about the show itself. Again, this is just kind of, because I genuinely don't remember what I went over in the original black screen I made, right? Because it'd been like a year and some change. But I don't think I went over stuff to this extent because I think I, I didn't really go over this stuff till like Blow to the Rock. But again, we'll see. Like this is all kind of, you know, personal stuff, right? Um, but again, you know, it's still a black screen video. So you don't know who I am and you don't my, know my face. And it, it's also something where it's like, whatever. I'm pretty comfortable with where I am and satisfied. I've kind of accepted uh, what has happened. But again, that's why it's like, you know, I think that's why I'm kind of, again, still definitely more introverted and still deal with social anxiety, but I'm at least comfortable in my own skin. But with that, you know, besides the point, we're getting off topic. I'm just going to end it here because I plan on watching three more episodes tonight um, and I'll probably do four days. So, you know, theoretically, that first video can be out as early as a couple of days. But again, who knows, right? Uh, once I get into the week and start actually working, I'm probably only going to be able to do two a day, but we'll see. Let's see, but with that, again, and then once... I'm done with this whole rewatching thing. I'll get into other shows. This is just kind of that transition and me, you know, rewatching after however much time. So yeah, the big thing there is, and then again, I'll eventually rewatch MLB, but that's like way later down the line. But again, with that, I'm going to here, put a close to this. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.